In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Black Ops 6 shaders preloading stuck at 0%. So in case you're getting this error inside your Black Ops 6 game, here's how to fix it easily. The first thing you have to do is close down the game and your client completely. So close the game and then the client, if you're using Steam, close down Steam. If you're playing on anything else, just simply close that down. You can even try to restart your computer and then once you've done that, you have to open up the game again and see if the issue got fixed. If it didn't, now we're going to do the following. You want to go inside settings up here, top right, this gear icon. And then when a menu pops up, you want to go inside the graphics. And then inside the graphics, you want to navigate yourself to display, which is the first tab top left, and you want to look for restart shader preloading. You want to click on this, and then you want to basically apply that. So click OK or whatever it shows. And then once that's done, you'll have to wait for a few seconds, and this will restart your shaders preloading and hopefully fix the issue. If the issue still didn't fix it, you have to go and delete the shader cache inside the game. And the way you do this is as follows. Now, you have to go to the files where the game is installed on your computer. Usually it's called Call of Duty and then Content and then COD24 or something similar. I'll show you how to do it in Steam. So you simply want to click right click on your Call of Duty game. I'm going to show you with this game over here, but it's the same procedure. Click right click on Call of Duty, then Properties, then go to Installed Files over here and click Browse. Now in here, you will then have to simply find a, basically a uh, folder, which is called content and then inside content, COD24, okay? If this doesn't happen, if you don't find that file, a uh, folder, you'll have to find a similar one in which there is basically a folder, which is called shader cache or preloaded shader cache or something along those lines. Simply enter that folder and then delete everything that's in there. So delete it, and then what you want to do is just restart the game and see if that fixed the issue for you. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.